Now this is a little guide that I've been meaning to do for a while. This is an Asus Zonar Zents or Sense, uh, whatever you prefer to call it. I'm going to call it Zents for the sake of uh, pronouncing it how I feel it should be pronounced. Uh, here you can see there's a little acoustic powered by Sennheiser logo on the side. So that is because this is part of that bundle that comes with the PC350 uh, special edition headset which uses uh, the larger jacks for both the microphone as well as the headphones. Here's your standard 7.1 channel audio out, or uh, rather 8 channel, 7.1. I don't know why they call it 7.1 channel. And then there's a spitif out that is capable of both coaxial as well as optical audio output. So what I'm going to be doing with this sound card today, which I did do a full Tech Tips episode on, and... Um, when I, what I talked about a lot in that Tech Tips episode was the importance of a headphone amp for getting the most out of your sound. So this card has an integrated amp, and today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be changing... Oh yeah, the integrated amp, that's why it needs a Molex power connector, even though it's a sound card. Uh, we're going to be changing the op amps. So ASUS had a, um, like a special little program a little while back where they were offering a free amp upgrade for the Zonar Essence, ST, STX, and the Zens. So here I have my uh, my op amps here. These are the replacement ones, and I'm going to be walking you guys through the procedure of changing the op amps on your Zonar Zens. So first of all, there are a few screws that need to be removed here. Now remember, you can put in whichever op amps you want. The ones here are. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the part number and let you figure that out for yourself because the reality of it is I am actually not that hardcore of an audio buff. So I wouldn't know the difference between these and uh, other op amps. So hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. Okay, so I'm just going to be showing you guys the hardware aspect of installing the stock ASUS op amp upgrade kit. So, undoing the screws. Oh, I better zoom out so you guys can see what I'm doing better here. Okay, now I'm not sure if this is going to come off yet. There may be one more screw. Let's just undo this one and see what happens. There we go. Okay, so we're going to pull off what is uh, a shroud slash EMI blocker slash uh, heatsink. I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's also attached to the PCI bracket here. So that's uh, one more screw. There we go. Looks like it uses the same kind of screw. So it should be no problem to remember which ones go where. Okay, it is not a heatsink, so let the record show that. So right there, those are the included op amps. And replacing them should be quite straightforward here. This also gives us a look at the, um, at the insides of the Zonar card that we're using here. So, hmm, this might actually be kind of challenging because I'm having a little bit of trouble getting my uh, camera to stay right now. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so... What I may actually need, since it's kind of hard to get in there, is, uh... Hmm... I might need just a little screwdriver or something, so give me a moment here, guys. Okay, so I'm back with a little slot screwdriver. So what I'm gonna do to remove these guys is I'm just gonna... pry them up a little bit here. Whoop! That was easy. There we are. Just gonna pull these guys up. Ooh, they jumped around. Look at that, like little bed bugs. Beep, beep, beep. So before I take them off completely, I'm just gonna note which way they are installed. So the little dot here is in the bottom left. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the new ones in the same orientation as the existing ones. There's a tech tip for you. When you're replacing something, install the new one the same way the old one was in there. So there they are. So I've got my little dots on the bottom left here. So I'm going to go ahead and position them in the right position, if I can, if that's not too challenging for me. 
It may just be. Uh-oh. He's stuck. Uh-oh. Hmm. Challenging. Never fear. There we are. Okay, let's try this again. So maybe I'll do the bottom one first because that one looks easier. So let's line up the one side. And then the other side should go in. You gotta give the legs a bit of a squeeze. And then we can push that in. Okay. So, whoa, I just hit my lens. Awesome. Last thing I need is more scratches on this lens. Give me a second here, guys. Okay, got it, guys. Just needed to give it a little bit more pressure. And there you go. It is now firmly seated. So you just want to check both sides. Uh, I'm just inspecting it a little closer right now. Okay, yeah, so you can just inspect both sides. Make sure those legs are in there right. There you are. And now we'll go ahead and put in our other one, being sure to uh, put it in the correct orientation. And squeeze the legs closed a little bit, because uh, I noticed I had a little bit of trouble getting the other one in with them so wide set. There we go. Just make sure they're uh, positioned in the right place. And then go ahead and push down firmly. Oh, you know what? See, that one went in a lot further. I don't know if the other one's uh, quite in the right place, actually. Hmm. Okay, let's try pulling up the uh, first one. See, this is the problem with doing guides when you haven't actually done something before. Okay, so there you have it. The le Okay, guys, sorry, I got it figured out. What happened was the legs of this one were a little bit wide and they were getting caught on the uh, on the plastic housing around the uh, op amp slot. So now it is figured out. They are both in firmly and securely. So all that's left is to uh, throw the shroud back on and enjoy the upgraded sound quality. Remember, these pieces are the ones that are actually going to determine the overall... Um, in a lot of ways, the overall quality and the overall flavor of the sound coming out of your sound card. So I look forward to trying them out. Thanks for checking this out on Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, guides, reviews, and other computer videos.